Hello, good afternoon. I am Dr. Vaishali Sharma, consultant gynecologist, laparoscopic surgeon, and infertility specialist at Milan Fertility Center, New Delhi. Today, we are going to talk about recurrent IVF failures. As we all know, the problem of infertility is increasing day by day, and we are getting more and more patients daily in OPD nowadays. So, the reason behind the causes of infertility may be the stress, lifestyle changes, or some diseases like endometriosis or block tube, but whatever the pre- the cause or the treatment, whatever the patient is having, they are going for IVF. But there are many patients who are getting negative results even after going for one or two or three cycles of IVF. Such condition is called as recurrent IVF failure. A patient has to really work a lot. They have to put in a lot of efforts while they plan to undergo a IVF cycle. It is both emotionally, psychologically, financially. They have to really bear a lot of things. They have to really work hard when they are undergoing one IVF cycle. But many a times, the final result of the IVF cycle is not positive. And it is really very devastating, not only for the doctor, but also for the patients and everybody who are involved in the treatment. So. Today, we will be discussing why, what are the reasons, what are the causes, why the IV cycles get failed, why there are so many failures uh, in the patients when they come to us, why do they have negative results even after undergoing an IV cycle. So, as we all know, whenever a pregnancy is occurring, uh, there is one egg, there is sperm, and there is a uterus. Mainly these three things are responsible for getting a positive result in pregnancy. So any of these, when these are, that is not up to the mark, that can result in any negative result after IVF cycle. One can be if the egg is not very good. Another can be if there is some problem with the pumps. And third can be if the uterus is not that receptive. So any of the things, any one of these, can lead to failure in the IVF cycle. So today we will be discussing how can we detect it earlier, how can we improve it for the further cycles, and how can we judge what to how to proceed further, and how can we uh, avoid so many disappointments. First, we will take uh, the quality of egg. As we already know, uh, egg is the major important thing that is responsible for the growth of the embryo. The genetic material which comes through egg is uh, though the 50% of embryo, but it is the major cell in which sperm gets injected and it is fertilized. So the quality of egg is the most important factor if we look at it and because it is the major deciding factor for the grading of the embryos that we get after IVF cycle. If the uh, uh, egg that we are getting is not up to the mark, or is uh, somewhat low in the quality, then the embryos which we try to make are not very good. We may not be able to get a great blastocyst. Blastocysts are base 5 embryos which we try to make in every cycle because blastocyst implantation has higher success rate in IVF cycles. But if the quality of the egg is not that good, then we have we face problem in getting good quality embryos. So, how can we improve the quality of eggs? That is the most important question. So what a patient can do from their side, what a doctor can do from our side. So we know the egg is also one of the cells of our body. So obviously diet is an important factor. Uh, what we are eating, what deficiencies are there in our diet, all these things are reflected in the quality of the egg. So, if you are looking forward to undergo an IVF cycle, always ensure that you are having a healthy diet. Your lifestyle is better. Try to reduce the stress, whatever there is uh, around you, maybe the work stress or uh, at home, whatever stress you are facing. Because this in turn is definitely going to have a negative effect on the final result of your IVF cycle. So one is the diet, second is reduce the stress around you. I know it is not possible to 
completely put off the stress which we face nowadays but yeah try to do whatever you can to reduce or minimize the stress that you are facing next is the exercise the first exercise in turn reduces the stress that you have in the your body being because of the surroundings so try to do some exercise maybe 15 to 20 minutes every day it will in turn not only reduce the your diesel metabolic rate it will in turn help in reducing those toxins which are there in the body which have negative effect on the quality of the eggs so one is the diet and the second is the stress reduction third is some little amount of exercise so these three things are there which you can definitely do fourth thing is try to avoid having any sort of toxin like alcohol smoking even passive is not thing because all these things they have negative effect very market negative effect on the quality of eggs because you know it causes oxidative stress in our body so like the cause the damage that the uh, smoking or alcohol can cause to your lungs or to your liver similarly it also has negative effect on the quality of the egg So try to reduce, try to cut it off from your diet or from your daily schedule till the time you are going for a new cycle.